I'm so excited to join you today to offer you an opportunity for your own personal tour of our new student recreation facility. February the 3rd, we held our grand opening for this nearly 100,000 square foot facility. Prior to that, the Student Government Association at UT Martin approved a fee to fully fund the operation and the building, of course, of this uh, new facility. After that, I think it was probably November of 2006, the University of Tennessee Board of Trustees formally approved this project. It's now finished, and you'll be among the first to get a personal tour of this state-of-the-art facility. I'm going to ask Gina McClure to come over and join me for just a minute. Gina McClure is Director of Campus Recreation, and that includes not only this, this facility, but the Aquatic Center and several other areas where our, our students are so heavily involved, on and on and on. Uh, she's going to take you on a personal tour, and I think you'll be as proud as I am. Gina is a 1994 graduate of UT Martin, so we're lucky to have someone that understands the UT Martin experience. Gina, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right, well, thank you, Chancellor. We're thrilled to have the opportunity to showcase this facility and, and let our students know what we have to offer them. Joining us today on our tour is one of our uh, students. He is a campus recreation supervisor, an avid recreator, and a student that has taken full advantage of this facility it is Brian Panovac. Brian, glad to have you join us today. Thank you, Ms. Sheehan. It's a pleasure to be here today. Good. We're going to start here in the lobby area. This is the front lobby area. It is set up for socialization, uh, places where students have the opportunity to kind of hang out and wait on. Uh, their friends to go and work out. We've also got it set up a little bit for the uh, students to uh, eat if they want to have a snack or something. We also have a big screen TV here in the front lobby. We've seen a lot of students uh, enjoy a lot of sporting events while they're also over here recreating. So the lobby has provided a great space for our students just to kind of hang out. If you'll follow me, we'll go on past the control desk and enter into the facility. This is uh, the staff that sits here and controls access. Our students, or any member for that fact, needs to bring their Skyhawk ID to enter. You'll swipe and come on into the facility. Uh, this area out here is another inner lobby area, and it's an area that we're going to focus doing a lot of leisure rec opportunities. Uh, we've got some ping pong tables out here right now that students are uh, doing some ping pong tournaments at night. We've got an air hockey table, we've got a foosball table, and next week we've got a couple of pool tables being delivered. So we're really looking forward to uh, the leisure rec opportunities that this lobby area uh, will allow. If you will, follow me on in. If you will, come and join us up here on the second level. We're going to go into our cardio mezzanine. As you can see, the mezzanine is loaded with lots of different uh, equipment up here. We've got recumbent bikes, we've got ellipticals, we've got treadmills. Uh, we're very excited about the equipment that we have up here. I think what we're really excited about is the technology that the equipment has. Uh, a lot of our equipment, they have TV screens programmed in. Uh, we have it where the students can bring their iPods and they can put movies in or play their own music. They have the ability to bring their jump drives and, and uh, record their workouts and stuff. So the technology that we have up here we're very proud of and the students are really taking full advantage of it. I'm going to have Brian talk to you about what we have on the floor uh, from that perspective. Uh, the new free weight and selector eyes area is twice as large as the prior workout facility that we had here on campus. Also, we have um, workers on staff all the time willing to help you if you have any questions, anything you need. Uh, it's new state-of-the-art equipment, so you may not be too familiar with it, but they can always familiarize you with it. Um, we have cubby holes for anything that you bring here, so if you come in straight from class, your backpacks, you need a place to store them. We provide that as well. Um, anything that you think that you would want to do in a gym, you can do it with this gym. If you will, make the transition out here. Uh, we have outside in the hallways, outside of the cardio mezzanine, we took advantage of what we call a little bit of empty space or some dead space. We filled in with some other cardio equipment. So not all of the cardio equipment is located in the fitness center. We've got some sporadically throughout the facility. If you will, let's go on into the gym and see what we've got there. Coming in here, we're entering into the gym. Our gym has a track above it, and eight laps around the track equals a mile. As you can see, we've got students in here taking full advantage of it, working out with the colder weather outside. If you'll come on in, let's take a look at what our basketball courts are. 
This is a gym that we are very proud of. We've got four basketball courts in here. The basketball courts convert into volleyball courts, and one of the courts also converts into three badminton courts, which is gonna allow us a lot of flexibility in the uh, recreation that we can do in here. But again, you can see also with this, we separated, we have two gyms, and the flexibility of having two gyms will allow our students to be able to come in and rent and utilize space and do special events without disrupting normal recreation. So that's a, a nice little twist to the uh, equation that we have and we're looking forward to. So again, very, very proud. Students are filling the gym every day. It's packed and we're excited about that. If you will come on, let's head on to the cardio rooms. Let's get a good workout there. As you can see, we've got students in here taking full advantage of what we have in the aerobics room. Uh, here in the near future, we're going to be teaching some aerobic classes, but right now a lot of the students are coming in and taking advantage of the equipment that we have and doing their own personalized workout. But we're very excited about this. It also has a very beautiful view of the campus outside. So let's move on into our uh, multi-purpose room. This room, when we say multi-purpose, at the moment we've got the multi-purpose room set up for spin classes, which we've had a lot of students coming in in the afternoons and uh, doing those good workouts. But this room also will provide a lot of flexibility when we want to drop down a uh, padded floor. We can do some kickboxing classes. We can do some uh, uh, taekwondo. There's a lot of things that this room will allow us uh, to do other classes, some flexibility. All right, if you'll follow me, leaving the multi-purpose room, we're going to go out into our mezzanine which overlooks the lobby and as you see we used a little bit of our mezzanine space to add a few more cardio pieces of equipment uh, for those students that not necessarily want to be in the fitness center itself so we put a few out here uh, in some spaces we have a lot of students utilizing this moving on we have our classroom our classroom seats about 30 people uh, we hold a lot of uh, training sessions in services with our staff. We also do a lot of CPR first aid classes. Uh, we've also utilized this space for different meetings when uh, different groups want to come on campus and they might want to have a special meeting. Uh, we have all the technology that they need to uh, conduct meetings and business here. So this is a room that we're very, very proud of uh, to have here in the Recreation Center and it's going to get a lot of use. We've got three racquetball courts here in this facility. There we go. It's nice, these racquetball courts are also set up with a volleyball option. And the volleyball is basically playing volleyball off of the walls. So again, uh, there's multiple uses for our racquetball courts, which we're excited about that also. Well, that brings us to the end of our tour today. Brian, thank you for joining us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Well, good. Anytime any of you come to UT Martin or back in town, Please come by the facility and our staff will be happy to give you a personalized tour. Charlie, I think here comes Charlie Deal. Well, hey there, guys. Hey, hey how are you? Charlie. Good, good. Y'all have been giving a tour of this magnificent building. We have. Alumni. Great. Well, I, I heard you say, if you're ever in town, stop by for a tour. And I that want to invite right. you back mm -hmm. for homecoming on October 16th. It would be a great time to have a tour of some sort, but uh, we always encourage our alumni to come mm -hmm. back whenever you're in town. Gina, thank you so You're much for, for giving the tour. Brian, thank y'all. Thanks again, sir. This is a great facility. We should all be proud of it.